good morning it is tuesday november 9th and i just want to talk to you guys a little bit about the weather right now uh, this is cedric ghost in the ghost bait and tackle and and i just want to talk to you about the, the weather we're having currently it looks as though the rain has subsided right um, some of us missed an opportunity because 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 in addition to uh you know what water temps tides uh, moon phase barometric pressure rain can impact rain is something that is a weather system wind these things impact and can impact your your, your fishing system fish, fishing system your uh, and the fish you're, you're you're after so what does rain do and the thing i say we potentially missed it is because fish can sense some species more than others can sense when the rain's coming and can start feeding frenzy that can activate fish prior to a front coming in they feel the barometric pressure dropping they don't know how long that front's going to be there so they gorge this happens with bass this can happen with stripers this can happen with any number that catfish this can happen uh, and, and a lot of us will okay so some of us miss that right so now rain pressure dropped because uh, fish have a, a bladder in them and that bladder is impacted by that uh, water pressure, excuse me, the barometric pressure change and it can give them discomfort, right? It, it swells, it decreases, so a lot of times it forces the fish to just go deep and just kind of hang out after that pressure drops. They don't know how long that's going to be. They may gorge before. Then what happens? What's our next opportunity? Sometimes during. Depends on the swing and pressure. Sometimes during I've heard and I've experienced myself some very excellent rainy day fishing. But after it stays down for a while, sometimes it takes uh, an impact on them, and it and it also impacts the uh, the water, the system, the river or lake. So what does rain do to to the water? Rain is going to aerate the surface. It's going to cool the water temps and it's going to also um, it's going to bring water so it can maybe raise the level of a lake or, or, or pond or, or river and it's going to bring runoff which not only aerates but it's going to bring food okay so these runoffs if you can be at a creek mouth if you if you've ever experienced a lot of fishermen out there I know what I'm talking about some of your greatest fishing experiences have come when you are at the mouth of a stream creek outlet pump that is pushing water into the body of water you're fishing and the fish are there gorging just after a couple days after a rain so rain can create some tremendously exciting fishing conditions and that's why I'm saying this to you guys today because a lot of times um, the other thing uh, I didn't mention that impacts fish is fishing pressure, fisherman pressure. So what happens when it rains? You get less pressure. So how many people are out fishing right now? How many people fish in the rain? Not a lot. A lot of people don't go before the rain. They don't go during and they want to go after because it's still muddy. So you have a bunch of food, aerated water conditions, potentially more lively fish after they recover from that pressure change full of bait and food pushed into here I mean they haven't eaten in a couple days maybe the water's too dirty as that water starts to clear up two three days after a rain pressure stabilized some more ideal conditions for some excellent fishing so what I want to say to you guys is the worms crawdads insects whatever small bait fish that get pushed into a river uh, the delta from these different creeks lakes that these little creeks and streams dump into these these bodies of water the fish ha have been maybe potentially turned off for a couple days they turn back on i mean it's kind of like a rain is almost like the coronavirus right they know it's coming what do we do we go buy a bunch of <laughs> we go buy a bunch of stuff because we're scared we're going to run out once they say hey you can get out what do they we, we go people go buck wild this is very similar very similar action activity the fish know the front's coming they gorge prior <clears throat> if you missed that one you wait for it to recover 
it opens back up, pressure stabilizes, water clears up a little bit. Sometimes it doesn't have to if you can find the right conditions. But find that, that clear water or, or fish with something that has smell or scent that can help vibration, that can help uh, with the visibility issue with stained water and, and you're potentially looking at some awesome conditions. So this weekend, we see because today's Tuesday, right? So two to three days from today is well, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, the system should be somewhat recovered and, and a lot more fishable than it will be today. So <clears throat> keep that in mind. The water is a good thing. The water is your friend. You guys go out and go fishing. Cedric, it goes bait and tackle. Tight lines.